Good morning, YouTube. Uh, this morning, I would like to do a review on Parallels Desktop for Mac and VMware Fusion for Mac. Now, I've used both the, both the emulation software to run Windows on Mac. Uh, I prefer to use Parallels, and I will explain why. I like both of them in different ways, but Parallels seems to do more things that I want it to do. Um, I ran Windows XP Professional on <coughs> VMware, pardon me, VMware Fusion 1.1, and uh, I also ran on Parallels Desktop 3.0. Uh, the problem with VMware Fusion I had was that I have disability and I use mouse keys. But whenever someone would try to use the optical mouse, it would disable the mouse keys. I did not like this feature in VMware Fusion. However, I did like that it let you make uh, that it would allow you to make your virtual drive as large as you wanted. Um, uh, but it lag speed of XP and made XP uh, very slow. Uh, I ran it through Parallels to see if it was XP. Parallels ran XP very very fast and does not have the mouse keys issue as does VMware. Um, the only problem I have with Parallels is that it only allows you to create a 128 virtual hard drive, which is fine, but I would like more. Um, all my um, drivers work on both Parallels and VMware Fusion, except on Parallels my eyesight camera doesn't work very well and on VMware Fusion it worked just fine I am get able to get it to work on Parallels but it lags and I cannot post uh, videos to YouTube through Parallels um, let's see um, I've also used Boot Camp I do not like boot camp at all. When I used it once, all my driver, uh, my network drivers, my sound drivers did not work. Uh, nobody likes boot camp as far as I know right now. Boot camp still have issues in Leopard. Of course, when they released the beta, Apple said that when Leopard came out, boot camp would not have these issues but I keep seeing issues with boot camp um, I've also ran um, uh, Vista th through both uh, VMware Fusion and Parallels and um, Parallels runs Vista faster than VMware Fusion um, of course I was using a hacked version of Vista. I don't know how it runs the native Vista, but if you are running the um, cracked version of Vista, let me warn you about something. Um, if you are running the cracked version of Vista on emulation or just on a hard drive itself, let you be warned that it does not come with any of the maintenance stuff like disk cleanup and disk defrag which I was very disappointed about I first got Vista when it came out when I had a PC and uh, I did not like it whatsoever and I ended up downgrading back to XP within a week of getting Vista and this was back in February of 2007 um, but for those of you who want to run Vista Lite, you can. 
but I would suggest that you get an actual copy of this time and run it through parallels. I did run the beta version of Vista uh, on not emulation, just a normal computer when the beta was available back in 2007. I was running actually the release candidate and the release candidate ran fine but then when they released the actual version of Vista they uh, totally ruined it. I don't know what Microsoft was thinking, although I hope Windows 7 is better, not that I will switch back over to Windows. I love Leopard. I think Apple did an extremely good job with Leopard, and I'm very impressed with all the new features in Leopard. Uh, so anyway, if you're thinking about emulating Windows on a Mac, I would suggest Parallels. Now, I know there's some of you out there that might say, VMware is better, and that's your own opinion. But when it comes down to it, I would rather be running Windows on Parallels. So there you have it, my review. I give Parallels a, a 4 out of 5 stars, and I give VMware a 3 out of 5 stars. If you have any uh, comments of your own about the, or if you have any of your own comments about the emulation program or know of another emulation program, please post a comment. I would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.